our 22 to 25 percent growth will come. All right, that is the management of Bandhan Bank. But something more that we want to bring up to speed with, the MSCI will announce the changes from its semi-annual index review in the second half of February. So Vivek is here to tell us about some of the likely changes that we could see. Vivek. Well, that's right. So what we've done is we've done a roundup of all of the passive indices news flow that we need to track. Uh, so first on our radar are the list of MSCI likely changes. And remember, you know, the MSCI will announce the list of likely inclusions and exclusions on February 12th. So as per Nuvama research, you know, the, there are two likely inclusions in this particular index review. So Bank of Baroda and CG Power are likely to make the cut as far as inclusions are concerned. And Biocon is likely to be excluded in this particular index review from MSCI. Now, the other stock that is in focus is actually Kotak Mahindra Bank, a very interesting update from the company. Along with the results, the company also you know, gave its latest updated shareholding pattern to the exchanges. And as per you know, this latest um, shareholding pattern, the FII holding at the end of December quarter stood at 42.69% versus 42.85%. That indicates that there is not further FII selling, which indicates that there is now not much headroom as far as MSCI is concerned to a, to, to a weight increase as far as the index review in February is concerned. A slight negative as far as Kotak Mahindra Bank is concerned. Now, staying with Kotak Mahindra Bank, also remember, FTSE is yet to go ahead and give a weight increase as far as the bank is concerned in line with the bank's weightage as far as going up to the sectoral limit of 75% is concerned. So what Nuwama is expecting is that uh, uh, the FTSE index will most likely include Kotak Mahindra Bank in the March 2023 review. However, this particular inclusion would be staggered over a period of multiple quarters, so the actual flow may not be that high. Uh, we are also expecting NSE indices, uh, you know, at the end of February to include as well as exclude some changes. Nuwama this time around is not expecting any major changes in all three of the indices. All right, uh, Vivek, thanks so much for getting us all those important details, and especially about Kotak Mahindra Bank. And as we slip into a short breather on business lunch, here's a quick programming note update for our viewers. CNBC TV 18 has compiled a list of the tw top 20 stocks to watch out for in this year. And it's a carefully curated list of companies that warrant a closer look in 2023 based on factors like growth prospects, new launches, management changes, reforms, etc. As a disclaimer, this definitely is not a recommendation list, but a list of companies which have meaningful triggers lined up this particular year. Tune in to CNBC TV 18 tomorrow at 10 a.m. when we will give you a sneak peek into the names and reveal the list. For now, a short break and back on Business Lunch. CNBC TV.